Greetings, I am Mr. Sean. Welcome to my channel. Today is a Warcraft cooking review. This video will feature dirges kicking chimeric chops and cactus apple surprise. Let's begin with the chops. Two headed chimerics sadly don't exist in this world, so the humble lamb will do. The author recommends that we let the chops bathe for eight hours or overnight in a marinade which consists of one tablespoon red curry paste, one quarter cup of Martinelli's sparkling apple cider, subbing for rum or bourbon, a half cup of chicken broth, and one pound lamb shoulder chops. In preparation for cooking, let's make the spice rub. One teaspoon cumin. One teaspoon paprika. One teaspoon red pepper flakes. Author recommends Aleppo pepper flakes. Half teaspoon of nutmeg. And half teaspoon of cinnamon. Now for a pinch of salt, which I give a quick shake of the bottle. Then spread it thin in the bowl. Add one or two tablespoons of olive oil to a pan on the stove top. rearrangement on my countertop. I place a cutting board down with paper towels on it. I pull out the marinated lamb. And pat them dry. Place one chop onto the dry rub. Push firmly downwards. Give it a flip and push it again. I decided to do the edges as well. Then, oh, so carefully, place the chop into the hot bubbly oil. I will sear each side for approximately four to five minutes. Then prepare a plate and have some aluminum foil on hand. Take the chops out of the oil and onto the plate. Pull out enough aluminum foil to cover the plate and make a tent over the meat. Seal the edges. Allow the meat to rest like this for another five more minutes. I was skeptical that this would do well. If you like rare to medium rare meat, this would be ideal. If you like medium or higher, what's wrong with you, baby? Then I'd recommend searing the meat on the stove top, then finish cooking it in the oven. I'll mention why that is towards the end. Now then, I had a thought while at the supermarket in the meat section about rare animals or other meat that could be used for this application. So I picked up another pound of flesh well suited <laughs> a bit more expensive which does well with this marinade spice rub can you guess what it is comment below my people and now something smooth and crisp 
Cactus Apple Surprise. Check the description below for the alcoholic substitutions I'm about to make. Two ounces of lemonade, one ounce orange juice, one and a half ounce of Martinelli's sparkling apple pomegranate, one ounce pomegranate syrup, then lime juice from concentrate, two ounces in total, which was half ounce lime juice and one and one half ounce water. Add some rocks and refresh. Here as I lay out these delectable meats and the delightful drink, the meat actually laid underneath the aluminum foil tents for about 10 minutes. Despite this extra time, the lamb came out pinkish, good, medium rare. The other meat, did you guess correctly? Did it happen to be bison, which is what I bought? The bison came out more rare to medium rare. Hence my recommendation for the stovetop sear with a oven finisher method. If you, if you like a a higher meat finishing. But the flavors were oh so delicious. The cumin and cinnamon and combo paired up well with an earthy and sweet aroma and flavor. While pepper flake provided a small delicate bit of heat. The cactus up surprise couldn't be better unless you want to rim your glass with coarse sugar, a pinch of chili powder, and a lime slice. Smooth, refreshing, and so far my favorite summertime refreshment. Thank you all for joining me for this delectable delights. A Warcraft cooking review. Please leave a comment below. Tenderly press that like button. Hang around by subscribing to my channel for more cooking reviews. Beyond the cookbook segments, classic let's play, Japanese snack unboxings, and many more coming down the pike. Ciao!